Hey guys, welcome back and hello to you new people too. I'm Courtney and this is Phaedra. I can't believe you just burped in my face, baby. Anyway, today I wanted to share my top five cruelty-free SPF products. The first one I don't actually have here because I just had to throw it out because it was expired, which is another important thing. Always make sure that you check your expiration date and your sunscreens because they do go bad, is no ad. No ad comes in a big purple bottle. I will put a picture of what it looks like up here somewhere. And basically it's just what it sounds like. It's a no frills SPF. They go up like either to 60 or 100. And if you live in a very hot climate with a strong sun like I do in Florida, it's awesome because it's a great body SPF. Perfect for the beach. The next SPF that I wanna show you is my current favorite for the body, which is Ocean Potion SPF 50. And this is great. It says it smells like scent of sunshine and I guess sunshine kind of smells a little sweet but it works really well. It's very like moisturizing or hydrating on the body. It rubs into your skin very easily. You know it's on. And I believe this one is, yeah, this, is, this one's water resistant. So this is perfect for the pool. When it comes to the face, there are three that I love. The first is Mad Hippie SPF 30. And this one says that it's a facial SPF broad spectrum with zinc oxide, carrot seed oil, avocado oil, and red raspberry seed oil. I think this one is better suited for normal to oily skin because it's a little bit too drying on me, but my husband loves it. Next would be the Paula's Choice SPF 30. And I really like this one. This one is for normal to dry skin like mine. However, um, I do wish that it was SPF 50, which is why I, I will wear it if I'm inside next to a window and there's, there's light coming in through the window. This is what I've been wearing lately. Or if my skin is really, really, really dry, I will use this. But the primary sunscreen that I've been using in my face lately has been the MD Solar Sciences SPF 50. And this says it works for all skin types. It's a little drying on me, but it's not terrible. And I can fix it by either putting on a, another moisturizer first or by putting beauty oil on second. But it does have a matte finish and it feels kind of like creamy or buttery going on. Um, this one definitely has flashback. It definitely has a white cast. I personally don't care if there's a white cast because I'm, I'm pale. And so for me, when there's a white cast, basically what it helps to do is count, cancel out some of my redness from my rosacea. So it's not a problem for me, but I understand that if you have a deeper skin tone, a white cast is a problem because you don't want to look ashy. So I would be, I would check, I would be careful with this. So yeah, anyway, those are my top five SPF products for summer. What are yours? Please be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you like this video and found it helpful and informative, please give it a thumbs up and share. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below so you don't miss my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.